welcome again to um, C3 Kids Zone, Fremantle and Ballad. I'm Alex and I'm Joy. All right, guys, I hope during the week you were practicing, you know, to be kind to one another and yes. saying words that build each other up and encouraging in each other. And um, what we will do today, we will actually look at the fruits of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was always wondering, like, fruits of the spirit, like fruits, like mm -hmm. us bringing fruits, what does it mean, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I have kind of looked it up a little bit and it kind of means, you know, the actions you show, the characteristics yeah. and there should be like God's characteristics because we are made in God's image so we should copy him in everything we do. Yeah. And when you accept Jesus into your life, he plants a little seed into your heart that contains all the fruits of the Spirit. And then, you know, like the more like fellowship you have with God, the fruits will grow and they will come out in your actions and in your life. Mm -hmm. So the fruits of the Spirit are actually nine of them, yes. but they kind of come all out when you're controlled by the Holy Spirit. Yes. So they're kind of all coming out, out of love. But today we will look at the nine fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So we have fun activities. We have today Shikana and Bianca. Yeah. He will show us a fun little activity with balloons. So stay tuned for that. And we have uh, Raquel as well. She will yes. tell us a Mr. lot about the Holy Spirit as well. Mm -hmm. But for now, let's go to the back and do our matching activity where we also introduce some Bible stories where you can see how people show God's characteristics. Okay guys, let's go. Fruits of the Spirit. Jesus stills the storm. This one is peace. Peace represents joy in the midst of suffering. We have peace and we look up to Jesus and we trust God that He can change our life even in a harder situation. Yes, yeah, so that's one of them. The next one is from a story that, uh, that, that we all know when Jesus came to earth. So God humbled Himself down. He was God and he came and was born as a little baby so that kind of shows us gentleness which kind of means being humble so God wants us that we showing humility to one another being humble not thinking you're better than anyone else so that is the next the second fruit of the spirit the good Samaritan it's the goodness you know the song it says and I accept you and you accept me because Christ accepts us so. So this is goodness, the Good Samaritan. Jesus likes us to be to accept everyone, whatever race you are, whether you are Filipino, you are Australian, whatever parts of the country. He expects us to spread the goodness everywhere. All right. So the next one is um, is the fruits of the spirit which is joy and we can see Paul in prison Paul was imprisoned because of his faith and it must it mean it's horrible no one wants to be in prison but still he was being joyful like he was being thankful for everything that God has done he was thankful for his brothers and sisters that were spreading the good news so God because he was keeping having fellowship with God and being controlled by the spirit he showed joy even in hard circumstances and joy is not the same as happy being happy because it's joy you, you um, feel even though when you when circumstances are bad. So that's kind of the story of Paul in prisons. We show that he brings the fruit of joy. Uh, joy! <laughs> God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God knew that we are a sinner. But because of God's love, He gave His only begotten Son so He could save us. Um, with this one, God expects us to love God and love our neighbors. And that's what, this is the most important fruit that covers all the fruit. Okay, the next ones we have uh, self-control, patience, faithfulness and kindness left. So, faithfulness. Um, I chose the story of Ruth and Naomi, which kind of shows us faithfulness. Like Naomi was, she wanted to go home 
and she wanted to, you know, she wanted to go home where she was born. But her daughter-in-law, Ruth, she was saying, no, I'm coming with you and I will look after you. So she stayed faithful to her mother-in-law. So this story just reminds me how God is faithful to us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. And we should also show the characteristics in our life in that we keep our words when we say something like, and that we are punctured and just keep on being faithful to God. Patience. Joseph in prison. Galatia 4.4 4, In God's perfect time. In everything give thanks for it is the, the will of God. We may see that God is not working, why all this is happening, why this is happening to me. But all in the end, if you are following Jesus Christ and you believe and trust in Him, he will make sure you're in the right path. Okay, the next one is kindness. So there are lots of stories in the Bible about kindness. I just kind of chose this one. This one is um, Joseph in the Bible, in the Old Testament. His brothers were very mean to him and they hated him and they sold him into as a slave. And, um, you know, which was very unjust. But Joseph still, he was forgiving his brothers in the end and he was sharing, you know, um, food with them when they had none, no food. So that's kind of the kindness. So we should show kindness to one another, like God does and like Joseph did. Self-control. Satan Satan's tempt Jesus. With his story, Satan tried to be God, to our God. And he tries to, to tease or tempt Jesus so he can persuade what what um, Jesus and can Jesus and and he will um, try to um, break the self-control. With this one, Jesus showed us that in in our walk with Jesus there will be sacrifices, but with the self-control we can win it all. Yeah, that's right. So those are our nine fruits of the spirit that all come out for the Holy Spirit, when you keep on having fellowship with God and um, when we are filled with His love. So I hope like, have a look as well in your Bibles, look up maybe those stories and you know, find out for yourself what's happening on the sh in those stories and how those characters show God's characteristics. and girls do you have a favorite fruit well mine is strawberries
Mmm, yum. Fruits start off by tiny little seed and they grow into delicious juicy fruit. Today's lesson is about fruit, but it's not the kind we eat. We can see it grow though in ourselves and in others by the way we talk and in our actions. This fruit is called the fruit of the Spirit. You see, when we believe in Jesus, He sends us a super duper helper called the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit helps us grow these fruits in our lives. There was a very wise man called Paul. He loved Jesus very, very much. And he wants to teach others about Jesus. So he wrote a letter in Galatians 5. And I'm going to read it to you. So I'm going to be reading from Galatians 5. And Paul wrote, I say, walk in the Spirit, then you will certainly not carry out the desires of the sinful nature. For the sinful nature wants to do what is opposite to the Spirit. They don't agree with each other. The acts of sinful nature are hatred, jealousy, rage, and selfishness. I warn you, people who live like this do not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Paul teaches us that we should try to live with these values and fruits to show others how to live and how to please Jesus. Over the next few days and weeks, try to incorporate these fruits of the Spirit in our everyday lives. When people ask you, what would you like to be one day when you grow up? Instead of saying a doctor or a nurse or a teacher or a mom, try to remember what kind of doctor you'd like to be. A gentle doctor, a kind teacher, a loving mom. I'm Bianca and I'm one of the teachers in Kidzone. I'm Shekina and I'm one of the helpers at Kidzone. And today we're doing the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Yep, so as you can see we have these colourful balloons here and inside them are the fruit of the Spirit which are the gifts that the Holy Spirit has given us and would you like to explain how we did this? So basically we get a balloon before blowing it up and we take one of the fruits on a piece of paper and we just roll it up and don't blow up the balloon yet because it will be hard to put it in <laughs> And you just pop it in and then just blow it up. Yep. And if you can, tie it up or ask your mom and dad, or your sister or a brother. And then that's done. And then this part, you have to find something sharp, but be very careful. And you can do it with someone else, it's very fun, and you just pop the balloon and see what's inside. Yep, so, so you can go first. Yeah, this is more fun if you do it with your friends, guys, or your brothers, sisters. So I'll pop this one first. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so what I have here is peace. What this means is calmness even when life is stressful. So that's when you are calm even when you're experiencing problems so you're not reacting in anger when things don't go your way so yeah. I have kindness and this is compassion and friendship unselfish love doing for others what you would want someone to do for you so if someone gives you a cake that's kindness that's something that you would want to do for other people as well then if someone does it for you pass it on spread kindness for other people and okay, this one is love, which is giving freely without asking for anything in return. Care for anyone and everyone around you. Always believe in the best about others. 
So if you're showing love for your parents and you say, I love you mom, you make them breakfast in bed, you don't expect them to do something back. It's just something that you, you love your parents just like God loves you. God does everything for you. He doesn't expect too much in return, but you show his love, your love for God by loving others. Yeah. And what I got here is self-control. It's keeping your temper even when someone makes you mad, thinking about what you will say and do before you do it. So, example, some, a friend of yours makes you mad and you shouldn't act because you're angry because that will just make you do bad things. You have to think before saying something or doing something. Okay, okay um... What I have here is patience. It says calmly working through problems, forgiving those who have hurt you, not fighting or being angry even when someone provokes you. So kind of like self-control, you have to have patience in everything. Um, when you're praying to God for something, you can't just rush things and like ask him why. It hasn't come yet. You have to have patience and you have to sweat. This one is joy and not just our kids own leader. This is peace and strength given by God, especially when you're having a hard time, a constant contentment. So even if there are bad things happening around, you have to keep happy, keep joyful. You can help other people can help you keep joyful. You can ask your friends to hang out with you, your siblings to play with you, and basically just have joy from the Lord. And Mine's here. I'll find mine while you're reading. Okay. Um, mine's gentleness. It's being humble, respecting your parents, your teachers and your friends, and forgiving those who hurt you. So respecting, that's very important, I think. Um, especially to elders, but not just the elders. Of course, you have to respect your friends as well. Um, the feelings, you have to respect their feelings. And yep, you just have to be humble with everything. And this one is faithfulness. So this is keeping your promises, being a loyal friend, being honest and trustworthy, remembering every day to pray to God and honor God with your actions. So God is always watching us and we always want to make him proud and be faithful to him. So just do something that you know God would be proud of. Okay, this is goodness. Yep, so it says, Joy in being good and doing what is right, turning away from bad things and asking God's forgiveness when we mess up. So, that's doing what is right. You guys, um, we should know what the right thing is. Um, we have to do things that please us God and we have to follow His commandments. You love mm -hmm. your parents, you obey them, obey God's commandments, basically. Yeah. Yes. And try to remember all of these for next week. Just practice remembering what they are. There are nine of them. These gifts are really important. Um, you should show them to your family. You should show love, goodness, kindness to your family, to your friends, to everyone around you because by doing that, you're showing them how to behave and act like Jesus and that's what pleases God. So I hope you had some fun. It was um, a lot about the fruit of the spirit. So I hope you will remember some stuff. And um, before we go in to announce who the winner was of last week's challenge, and we give you a new challenge to do, I have actually had a request from Nathaniel. Hello, Nathaniel. You were requesting some more jokes, so there you go. I got some more jokes that I will ask Joy, and you guys can participate as well. Okay, first joke. Why did the picture go to prison? So why did the picture go to prison? Because it was framed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, next one. Where do cows go on Friday nights? Where do cows go on Friday nights? Yeah, I'm kind of, I would wonder as well, where would they go? So what know? do you think? Do you think Nathaniel? Okay. Oh, Help me! <laughs> they go to the movies! movies. You get it? <laughs> movies! Oh, that's kind of interesting. I thought they went to the farm to get movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, last one, Nathaniel. What did one eye say to the other eye? 
What is one I say to the other? I'm not sure, that's probably ice cream. Ice cream, <laughs> yeah. Between us, something smells. Do you get it? Between us, something smells. It's the nose. Oh my gosh, I hope you got it at home. All right, so let's announce the winner mm -hmm. next uh, last week. Next week, last week. And the winner of our little rock creature garden for sending in the lovely blooming, paper blooming, paper blooming flowers mm -hmm. um, is, and you will see it on the screen. Congratulations, guy. Hope you enjoy your rock creature garden. So we have the bowl of water here and our flowers are done. So let's see what it looks like when you put it in. So here you go in Eli. Whoa, you can see that it's rising up nice and cool. Whoa, that's a good job, Eli. I just help it open up. So as you can see, mine is Joy. Okay, so now we're gonna take yours out. Okay, uh, since mine's small, I'll just put mine in the corner right here. And let's see how it'll bloom. Whoa, look at that bit, it's coming out. As you can see, you can see the lump that's right over there. And now I'm giving it over to Troy to, to announce the next challenge for this week. For our next challenge? Um, I hope that we should memorize, or uh, we memorize the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Send us the video on an email that is on the screen right now. Well done. And you can win. Our prize for this week's challenge will wow. be some kinetic sand. So we will get some of your, you know, it will have some fun with it. Yeah. Kinetic sand of your own. And it's even with glitter. So yeah, we will send it to you. And um, Joy, can you just let the kids know what the Bible verse is for this week? For our memory verse, this week is Galatians 5, 22 to 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things there is no law. Yeah, so um, those things are only coming by the Holy Spirit. So let's be all filled with the Holy Spirit and controlled by it and show God's characteristics mm -hmm. and love one another. Um, shall we just close together for prayer? So guys, put your hands together, bow your heads, and if you could pray for us, please, Joy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for showing us the real love and the true love that only comes from you. Thank you for the fruit of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit that comes within us, Lord God. Thank you for your power and um, we pray, Lord Jesus, that everyone who um, accept you will show all these um, fruit of the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. We pray for each and everyone who is having a hard time right now to be blessed by this lesson and to truly know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we see you again, hopefully next week. Take care, have a great week, and bring the fruits of the Spirit. Okay, bye. bye.